Greetings and saludos a todos. This is going to be a very brief one. There is proof that Efficor are lying about the fiber optic gyro and I'm going to show you right now. Now, the video I'm about to show, I'm doing, I'm showing, um, Yes, educational purposes. Um, please download this video that you're going to see now and share it because this channel sooner or later will be pulled. Okay, so please download this video and share it to people. I'm going to screen share. We're going to look at a ring laser gyroscope. You see, uh, over the last few days, something has been gnawing away at me, and it's this. The guy with the ring laser gyro, I forget his name, the guy who bought the ring laser gyro before Efficor was even established, Efficor being run by an absolute charlatan, that's Mike Kavanagh, okay, surrounding himself with legitimate flat earthers to, well, be harder to detect. And I've called him out before, and Bob Nodell should know better, okay? He should know better. Now, um, I hope I'm sharing this. I'm going to show the channel LD Didactic GmbH. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a portion of this video. Then I'm going to slow the footage down and play it again. We're looking specifically at the parts of the video when this ring laser gyro, which is going to rotate, when it stops rotating. And the oscilloscope here is going to show what's happening. Now, <coughs> the guy who bought the ring laser, uh, the fiber optic gyro, and it's the same principle, okay? Don't get sidetracked thinking fiber optic versus ring laser. It's both the SACNAC interferometer, okay? They're both the same thing. They work on the same principle. The man who bought it, whose name I forget, took it for a test drive. He had it in the back of his car. He drove for a God knows how long around a lake in the US and then showed the gyro in the back of the boots, having first discussed it, explained it, said what he was going to do, and then just shows it whilst the car is no longer moving. OK, there there was evidence of no drift. Now, um, no rotation, no apparent drift, no gyro, no no uh detection of earth's movement in that video i can't find that video now god knows uh whether it's been pulled or who knows anyway the point is that guy did a test in that very brief test none okay it should have registered something because these uh instruments are incredibly sophisticated and sensitive now globusters Pushing FE core have been pushing this oh moot result. Is it the atmosphere moving? Is it the earth moving? And I'm telling you guys, somebody has dithered with that gyroscope to show the results it showed. First, you should not have 15 degrees rotation because you have the earth apparently rotating on two different axes. Your location has two sets of rotation, one circular and the other one you might call your. It doesn't matter, okay? You're not just going around in a circle on a carousel. You're also dropping. And that drop can't be detected by a plain gyroscope like this. This is only going to show rotation along one axis. Now, and the two axes I'm referring to would be the axis of the gyroscope itself and the axis of the Earth. Pay attention to the oscilloscope here. Watch and then share this and then shame my Kavanagh, who has obviously tampered with the device, either because that crazy egomaniac thinks he's going to one day receive a Nobel Prize. Really, literally, I, I wish I had the 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 message that was passed to me by, by Tesla Apple, where Mike Kavanagh, Mike of the House of Kavanagh, says so, actually says those words. But anyway, watch, watch the oscilloscope. 
that's an interference pattern that's been shown and here it is uh made extra large but don't worry it's not going to be something that people can claim is cgi like this screen right now watch and i'm going to slow it down and i'm going to explain what's happening oh it stopped there did you see the gyro actually stopped moving now i'm going to explain what's going on this displaying it differently okay so that it's attached the two rather than having them over each other where this goes down this goes up and where this goes up the other goes down this is the interference okay now when the gyroscope stops and you you get a, a waving off the two lines what should happen if the earth was rotating and if fe core were being honest what should happen is on the oscilloscope the waves would mirror each other like these are doing except not to the same degree not so acutely but they would mirror each other they have to if the earth is rotating but you will see that they do not this is why you haven't seen video of the experiment do you see it might appear there like they crossed out of that like they were mirroring each other here we have some more when the gyro is static stationary idle i spoke with the company that makes the um uh the most sophisticated parts of the gyroscope here in britain they have bases all over the world they don't make the the, the gyro themselves they don't make the whole thing it's all compartmentalized now what i'm going to do is i'm going to slow this down to the slowest speed oops and you can do these yourselves you can all go to this video and do this yourselves we're now going to play it in like at 25 percent the speed okay a quarter speed watch what the oscilloscope shows when the gyro stops moving that's when it should be detecting well earth's motion that's when the gyro is idle that's when the makers of the ring laser gyro and the fiber optic gyro that's when they say when the instrument when the gyroscope is idle it shows no interference they're not lying that's inconvenient for the globe theory these guys are just talking about their equipment when it's idle it shows no sagnac interference that's true somehow the globebusters fe core gyroscope does so watch this is like ultra slow okay so i'm gonna go take it back to the beginning and i'm gonna let it run okay remember they have to mirror each other to show the interference no interference no mirroring you can slow it down if you want you'll see there is no mirroring now it's moving now there's interference which means that the waves apparent waves they're not really real waves but never mind that the energy flow is uh out of sync that's what it means And the point is, when the actual gyroscope stops moving, the two lines that you see, which obviously are not dead straight, you know, like a like a, a heart monitor in a hospital when the person's passed away. We're not talking like that straight, but they should mirror. You can see it's not mirroring. They're both oscillating ever so slightly because this is a device with energy. There's also the energy of the room. The point is, when it is stationary, when it is idle, the waves do not mirror each other. They do not interfere. They're not out of sync. Watch. Watch the frame. This is 100% proof that Globebusters, by pushing the FE core gyroscope test, are literally lying. Now, I suspect sabotage, where only very few people know what they've done, 
and the rest of the people are just simply reporting what they've been given, what they've been told happened. That's what I'm suggesting has happened. I don't think all of them are in on it. Absolutely not. I know some of the people in FE Corps and they're real sincere. What's the oscilloscope? oscilloscope when it is stationary? It's stationary now. Watch the oscilloscope. You see how the lines are not uh, out of phase to the point that they're literally interfering. This is proof. This is proof. Now, for the globings out there, like the Tim Osmonds of the world, who've been talking about how this proves the FE core prove the Earth's motions, like, no, you dim dim. It proves dithering and dishonest uh, operation of the device. This is not dithering. This, this is the interference. This is how you would see the interference. This is what Sanyak would have seen. This interference pattern. Okay. This is when it's moving. And I can't believe that not even Globebusters, because to be honest with you, I think that Bob Nodell is just naive as hell. You would think that he would have shown this and said, hey, Mike, come here, you pencil neck cretin. What the hell have you done with this gyroscope? Okay, and that's it, folks. That's it. That's as much as I wanted to show. I'm livid. This has been there. Let's let's see how long this video has been there with nobody paying attention to it. Since 2013. Ha, huh, that's it. Just eh. And to repeat what I said earlier, the guy who bought the gyro himself did a test. The test showed no motion of the earth. Then it's handed over Effie Core. He's saying, oh, 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 look, oh, look, what, oh, look. It's like, well, that's very curious because the makers of the fiber optic gyro say, nope, it detects no interference when it's idle. And it would be impossible for it to be idle if the earth was rotating. And two, the ring laser gyroscopes. So that's a fiber optic. The ring laser gyroscopes say the same thing. And this is video evidence that they're being honest. It is true. When it is idle, it, there is no interference. Absolutely despicable. Bob Nodell, shame on you. Absolute shame on you. Okay. Bye, all.